Hey everybody, it's Friday and it is time for our Ask the Broker show. Uh, today we're talking about um, how to show your value as a, an, an agent to a seller potentially listing their home for sale versus uh, many of the competition out there, a lot of the discount brokers specifically that uh, will go in there and sell your house for say 1% or a flat fee. So uh, today we're talking about how to really combat those folks and how we can show value. So uh, you want to take a listen to this one. Yeah, well, to me, uh, every few years you battle that quite a bit. It depends on the market and that yeah. they come out of the woodwork, the discount brokers, and then when the market changes, they disappear. Yeah, they've been around well, quite a while. Yeah. That concept has been around. On and off, they just keep coming back yeah. and forth. So they're new names, new, new companies. Yeah. The best way you tell your seller is, look, you're looking for your best bottom line and the best service, right? Yeah, they're always going to say yes to that question. Mm -hmm. Well, how about if I can show you with my service and my negotiating skills on a contract and how to get your house looking the best that it can to sell for the most that it can, if I can make up that small difference in the discount of the commission, wouldn't you rather pay me and get more money that way? Mm. So there was one. Yeah. David, what, what else would you say about that? Well, I think before you even get to the table and you're having that conversation with somebody, you know, real estate's a relationship-based business. Yes. You know, you have to have that long-term relationship with somebody. You need to stay top of mind with that person. You need to provide value with them, not only in the, the sale of their house, but over the long-term relationship and um, after closing. So... You know, most of the time, if you've done it right, they won't even be calling the discount brokers right. um, to begin with. And if they are, then I think you probably have failed in, in developing that trusted relationship with that person. Because if you're a trusted advisor, consultant, whatever you want to call it, who provides value, half the time they're not even going to ask you know, you to cut your commission. They know yeah. how much value you're going to provide. You said, uh, you said it twice, the trusted they mm -hmm. trust you, then they're probably going to use you. Yeah. Now, let them trust you in getting the most money for your house without discounting. Because usually, with a discount broker, you get discounted service too. Yeah. And we don't want to do that. We want to give the full service and get them the most money. So let's convince them that that's, what, that's our worth. So to help you with this, uh, focus on how you can build better relationships with people over the long term, and you'll be asked this question less and less. And yeah. uh, one last topic on the discount brokers, a lot of times they hand the complete transaction off to a back office staff to handle. So they're not even working with that agent very often any, any longer. So you're working with some processor somewhere. So uh, many of the bigger companies are doing that. So um, there's some thoughts behind uh, how to get over working with a discount broker. Hopefully that helps uh, with you guys. Yeah, be their go-to person. Yep. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching the episode of Ask the Brokers today. We'll be back next Friday. We'll see you then.